What do spiders have in common with an excavator on a construction site? The answer, more than you'd think. Construction equipment and spiders are both powered by hydraulics, which are also used for car brakes, elevators, garbage trucks and cranes, and so much more. But what does it mean to be powered by hydraulics? Hydraulics are systems that are operating with liquids under pressure. Because liquids are incompressible, meaning you can't squeeze them into a smaller space, they can be used to push things. So when a force is applied on one end of the pipe, it is transferred to another end through the incompressible fluid. Often in industrial applications, hydraulics are used to multiply forces using different areas of pipes. By creating a larger area for the fluid to push against, the resulting force increases by the ratio of that increased area. But how do spiders play into all this? Have you ever looked at a spider's legs and wondered, how do they move? Spiders are arthropods, that means joint-footed. They have an exoskeleton made of chitin, it's the same material that makes up shrimp tails. This exoskeleton serves as a replacement for the internal bone structure. This means they don't have the same muscles that mammals have or other vertebrates. Humans, like other mammals, have skeletal muscles, which, you guessed it, move the muscles in our skeleton. They're attached to each bone in antagonistic pairs, flexors and extensors. Their purpose is in the name. Flexors are used to flex or cause the joint to bend, and extensors are used to extend or cause the joint to open. Spiders also use flexor muscles to pull to bend the seven joints in each leg, but they don't have the extensor muscles, so how do they unbend their joints to walk and jump? Spiders' exoskeleton is filled with a fluid called hemolin. That's their version of a hydraulic fluid. All of a spider's legs are attached to their cephalothorax, not to its abdomen. The cephalothorax controls the hydraulic movement of the spider's legs. Spiders don't need extensor muscles because they can use fluid dynamics to push on their legs, resisting the contraction of their flexor muscles. If you've ever seen a dead spider, you may have noticed that all eight legs are curled up. This is because when a spider dies, the flexor muscles contract at the lax hydraulic resistance from the cephalothorax. This combination of flexor muscles and hydraulics makes for really impressive results. A jumping spider can jump 30 or 40 times its own length. Spiders can also move very quickly when they're in danger, even as fast as 34 times their body length per second. If I ran that fast, I'd run over 130 miles per hour. Unfortunately for the spider, this does come with some caveats. Because spiders rely on hydrostatic pressure, any injury puts them at risk of losing some of their hemolymph. And if they lose too much of this fluid, they'll be unable to move. Some species have developed a mechanism similar to a mechanical valve, which prevents them from losing too much hemolymph. Although some people see spiders as creepy, I think there's a lot to learn underneath their unsettling exterior. If you like this video, check out this one where we made plasma in a microwave, or this one that YouTube picked out just for you.